So first question, why Michigan? Michigan was the spot, was the choice because just Jawan, everything that Jawan embodied, everything that the program embodied and the support staff, coaching staff, um, all guys that I previously known from, you know, taking a visit there back in my senior year high school and um, gaining a relationship with them along the way. Um, Coach Shadi, Coach Jay, Coach Howard, uh, and Coach Phil, um, four great coaches who knows a lot about the game of basketball and that I can learn from. And um, I'm excited and I have been excited to be able to learn from them and continue to learn from them. Chicago connection, you and, and Juwan. What was it about that connection for you guys? Oh man, um, it was strong. And it was also a strong uh, reason of why I actually joined Michigan. Um, knowing him from the past, um, since I was probably like seven or eight years old, going to his local Juwan Howard camp in Chicago, um, being a part of those and meeting Jet and, and Jace along the way. Um, we've always been close, especially uh, growing up being younger and um, just keeping tabs on each other and our journeys along the way. So um, that was a big reason of why I joined Michigan and also just um, just having some familiarity in that, in that sense, aspect. How quickly did he reach out once your name went into the portal? He reached out same day. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was like two hours after I entered the portal. Wow. So um, that was, I was excited to hear from him and it was, you know, dope, you know, given the connections and everything like that. Were you pretty convinced right away, right when he called? Yes and no. Like, of course, you want to go in there with an open mind um, and talking to college coaches, but also knowing the connections of it and knowing, like, the journey of um, just everything and their situation of Michigan, I, I thought it was a perfect match. All right, so from what you've seen so far, you've been in Ann Arbor for how long now? Just a couple months. Four or five, yeah, four, four, or five, four or five months. Okay. All right, what have you learned about Ann Arbor? I town? learned that Ann Arbor has some good food. Man, I was <laughs> not expecting that. And like I've been to some places, Alabama has good food and, and Texas Tech has as well. But oh man, Ann Arbor has a variety of food and good healthy foods as well. I'm big into Mediterranean and even Indian foods and um, all different sorts. In Mexican, they have everything across the board. Of your stops so far in college, is this the best foodie place that you've been to? Yes. Yes. All they right, have number one. good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. <laughs> <laughs> all three meals covered three in Ann Arbor. Covered. Uh, what have you learned about your teammates? I have learned that they are very hungry. Um, the returners are hungry from what happened last year. And the new guys, um, transfers, are, have similar journeys that I have. So um, we all have that similar hunger, and we're excited to do it together. And that's what I love about this team. And I love the personalities and how well we mesh. How do you think you fit in? What do you bring that this team was missing before? I think I bring a defensive identity, identity to this team that um, I feel like Kobe Bufkin had last year, but um, just something that we all can be a part of. Um, and that's what's ultimately going to win games, as well as being a leader out there vocally and by example, um, making shots and just helping the team win in any area. It appears that you really take pride in your defense, your on-ball defense. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that and your mentality about playing on the ball. My mentality is that I don't want anybody to score on me. And it's literally as simple as that because anybody scores on me, I am so mad. I am so pissed, even in practice. like. We can be playing an open gym. I don't like it. And so um, I take pride in that. I take pride in my personal matchup, and I take pride in stopping other people in other matchups, whether it's switches or whatever. Um, I take pride in um, just – it's just a sense of I want to win, and I want to win that matchup. Um, your mom is a TV star, or was? Yeah, previously, yeah. So the show was called Bringing Up Ballers, correct? Correct. And you were on that show. I was on that show. What was that like? Man, being on that show, it was fun because it helped me experience that type of lifestyle at a young age. Mm -hmm. um, when it came to the cameras, it helped me with my speaking and being able to speak to people and being able to articulate myself. Um, that was a huge part of it. And then um, with my mom, it was fun to see her, you know, be in that limelight. And she desired to, you know, be in that, and she kind of manifested that five years prior. So I thought that was dope. And um, seeing just the whole reality scene 
it gives me a different perspective on reality shows that I watch, you know, to this day. So I thought that was cool. Are there a few people that come up to you and say, hey, you're the guy from TV and not knowing that you're, you know, playing now for the University of Michigan coming up? Thankfully not. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to be recognized for who I am. So that's dope. Good, good. You know, you've had some experience in the SEC now. You've had some experience in the Big 12. And now you're going to have experience in the Big Big 10. From the outside looking in, like, what is the different style of play in the Big 10 as opposed to the conferences that you're familiar with so far? Outside looking in, I think it's like a mix of SEC and Big 12 in a way. It's, you know, kind of grinded out. And it's a lot of gritty teams in this conference. But also, there are a lot of teams that like to play fast and um, like the score with the best of them and have some really talented prospects um, in whatever classes um, uh, throughout this league. So I think it will bring like kind of the best of both worlds of what I've been through and honestly a, a new perspective that um, I haven't experienced yet. Tell me about Kyrie Irving. I know you're a big fan of him. Is he who you model your game after? That That is crazy. I, I've told very few people, um, but I am a big, huge fan of Kyrie Irving. I do not model my game after mm. him, though. I have a couple that I do, but I kind of like want to be the best player that I can be and um, just have a creativity that comes from me. So I love Kyrie's game. Though. I take, I wouldn't take bits and pieces, but I see what he does, and I try to implement that into my own game. We have spies everywhere I love listening that. to you. Do your teammates know about this show? About bringing up ballers? They yes. do not know about bringing up ballers. Okay. Um, at least I don't think they do. They haven't brought it up. I think the only person that might know is Jace. And that's just because he previously known me um, from years, years before. So they haven't brought it up to me and I'm glad. <laughs> so if one of them suggested to have a viewing party as a team to watch the show together, you would be against that idea? 100% against it. <laughs> um, just because it was my younger self. I'm not trying to hear the, the squeaky voice. <laughs> It was, it was dope when it happened, though. But you're past that now. I am past that. Yeah. We are on to bigger and better things.